This is Banggood's little one transistor wireless microphone kit. It uh, comes with everything you see here, plus it's supposed to come with a power switch. Right off the bat, I'm missing the power switch. Uh, it's a one transistor device, and immediately I noticed there's no uh, variable tuning capacitor. So I'm thinking that you vary the dimensions of the coil there set the operating frequency so maybe to save more money this kit is literally like a dollar eighty and it comes with this little case and it's powered by two AAA batteries so get started on the assembly here component values are silk screened onto the PC board since the kit didn't come with a schematic but uh, should be possible to get everything installed here based on the markings that they've provided the microphone at one end the switch at the other here's the completed kit uh, took I don't know half hour 45 minutes to put it all together um, one problem I've had is the battery terminals it just doesn't work they're not mechanically strong enough getting it all to work in this case so I'm going to kind of abandon that idea I don't have a switch anyway I'm just going to hook this um, 3 volt battery up to it instead so let me get that holder attached and see what happens so I got it hooked up to this uh, battery and this is my frequency counter here and uh, eh, it's drifting quite a bit and you can see it's outside the F, at least the American FM broadcast band. So um, I think what I'll do is try uh, spreading the coils on this uh, oscillator and see if, uh, well, no, that'll bring it down more, I think. So I'll try bridging a couple, one turn, and see if, uh, if that brings it up to a spot where I can hear it. All right, I scraped off some varnish. I'm going to try to get these two turns here to to bridge. I think I did it. Ha! Huh. And uh, brought it up to 122 megahertz. So we're going to have to <laughs> figure out some other way. All right, well, spreading these uh, coils apart here, raise the resonant frequency. Well, I, first I unbridged them and then uh, got it up to 91.8 megahertz. And as you see, still cooling off and drifting all over the place. Um, kind of uh, counterintuitive because I mean, it did what I expected when I soldered the the first two turns there together it raised you know reduced the inductance raised the resonant frequency a whole bunch um and then uh i un uh, soldered them and then spreading the coils apart raised the uh the frequency which again i would think turns spread out i guess not i guess spreading turns further from one another decreases inductance but just less than taking a turn out so let me get a radio see if I can pick this thing up 91 7 and rapidly falling okay here it is working on a portable FM radio it's very drifty I'm just holding the transmitter talking into the microphone Okay, so if you've ever wondered if uh, one transistor can uh, oscillate into the FM broadcast band and modulate, well, in this circuit it can. It doesn't do it very well because I'm, I'm off frequency again. I can't put the camera down to, to fix that. But uh, next time, or next time I do some kit building here from the same people, Banggood, we've got a a stereo synthesized FM transmitter that should be you know a little more usable than this this thing you can't isolate it 
you can't get it really stabilized very well uh, frequency wise because uh, even if you put it in a metal box there's no buffering the, the resonant frequency will change depending on you know putting your hand near the antenna or something like that so anyway but this is just a basic uh, proof of principle and if it's like you know it's a good starter kit for someone that's interested in radio so that does it for now thanks for watching